Welcome back to a Numbers on the Board YouTube exclusive. Numbers on the Board! Yes! We want to kind of give our flowers. We do. To some of our favorite scores to watch. And our NBA fandom, right? Yeah. I don't want none of y'all be talking about no Alex English now. We, yeah. we know you on the round for that. Definitely wasn't. Who but you uh, feeling? So if I ask... All right, go ahead. Um, for me, one of my favorite guys to watch was LaMarcus Aldridge. What college well, you went favorite. to? He went to Texas. <laughs> yes, he did. Come on now. I'll be in my bag, man. Yes, you do. Um, you do. But LaMarcus was a guy that growing up, I kind of wanted to play like him a little bit. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought I had his game because I remember one time we was talking about, what's your favorite part of your game? I was like, my post fade. And Pierre was like, post fade? I was like, yeah, like LaMarcus be doing. He said, you don't be doing that, bro. <laughs> 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 and in my head, I thought I had that, uh, uh. Post fade to the over the left shoulder. That's the same fade. dude. I thought I, I thought I had that in my bag. That's the but same dude we hooped with before, and he said he's not a post player. That's the biggest. Yeah, guy no, I, I was speaking about that in my prime. <laughs> now I'm not. Uh, now when I prime. was young, me, I thought I had that. Young him, as people who play with him, did y'all ever recall him post fading? No, I didn't no. have a nice mid range. Yeah, mid -range. nice mid range, nice mid range, nice but, nice but I wasn't posting up with it. Yeah. But I thought I had that. Um, I did want to be like Melo too. I wanted to be a little bit like Carmelo. I thought he was a big wing, 6'8", quick feet, but he could also post up. He could blow by you, dunk on you. Mm -hmm. he, could, he was literally like one of those legit three-level scores, and he just – the beauty in his jump shot was just so effortless. Like he, I, I like your LaMarcus pick because that's yeah. a Derrick Miller pick. Yeah. Like that is your guy. Um, he definitely wasn't the most pretty player to watch, no. but he, he was effective. Yes. He was damn effective. I don't think sometimes you have to be pretty to be effective. Like mm -hmm. Zach Randolph, mm -hmm. oh, man. I get the job done. Like 2010. He was walking 2010. I like that. I like For that. For me, um, I always like scorers who scored off skill yeah. rather than like athleticism because I always could relate to it as a young viewer. I wasn't jumping out of the gym. Yeah. I didn't have the fastest 40 times. So it's like, oh, I could pattern my game up somebody who literally just spent 10,000 hours working on that move or moves in general. So I loved um, Brandon Roy. Yes. Uh, that's really Brandon good. Roy was just like if the injuries didn't hit him man, man it's crazy how good mm -hmm. his career could have been. Brandon Roy was phenomenal. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was he was a really really good scorer. Again, not overwhelmingly tall. I think he was 6'5 to 6'6. Six, six. Didn't have a Zach Levine 40 vertical. inch vertical. Um but just a really good basketball player. So I really I love I love watching Brandon Roy. That was one of my my favorite scores and he could cook Mm -hmm. He was he was giving buckets to Ron Artest, Kobe Bryant, guys who was really you know um, dialed in on the defensive end. And yeah, like you said, unfortunately was cut by um, by injuries. But I always just love those type of scores. Um, mm -hmm. Even in today's game, a guy that don't get talked about enough, but that I when I watch it or when I turn on them highlights, shout out to Intuition Hoops, C.J. McCollum. Yeah, mm -hmm. again, uh, yeah. not overwhelmingly big, strong, fast. 40 inch vertical, but skill. Yeah. Jab, pivot, both hands, one dribble pull up, shoot the three off the catch, off the bounce, off the pick and roll. I really just love skill scores when I'm like trying to watch somebody score. Because for me, I always love to relate. Mm -hmm. As good as Giannis is or Shaq is, you're can't not gonna see my it. history being those guys because I can't relate to it. You know, I want I like to watch basketball to make me want to go play. Yeah. And, yeah. and what I can work on. And so, ooh, let me do that. Let me rewind that move. Let me see. Can I? Next time I'm playing and Mike sent me left, I could have, oh, okay, okay. I ain't really trying to watch nobody mm -hmm. just dunk 50 times Yeah, because I, I ain't doing that. I honestly relate to that a lot because I'm not athletic. Really, I'm not fast. I'm not jumping high. This is going to be a quick one because it's an easy one. Luka Doncic, just because it's, he just gets it so fundamentally. It's just like <laughs> yeah. he just takes advantage of what's the defense give him. But I like how we are on the lower names and just like the super big names. Y'all might laugh. Kevin Martin used to be one of my favorites. Oh, I'm not laughing at that at all. One Kevin of the guys had, with the unorthodox. Yes, I remember. I was. I this is when I was shooting around. I was like, man, let me try to shoot like Kevin Martin. Let me put it on oh my, my head. God, just broke yourself before <laughs> it started. Yeah, I think he's got uh, one of the few players that ne uh, has a 20 point game without a made field goal. So he free legit throws. got that off free, uh, free throws. So yeah. it's just like what an I like players stat. like that. I think that happened that uh, in Orlando when he was with the Kings. Yeah, mm -hmm. Paul Pierce was another one of those guys that like. He wasn't crazy athletic. He he was just he knew how to get to his spots at the right time. He had a good footwork. He his body was strong. He knew how to bump you and get that space off. I don't know. He had a real unorthodox way of getting his shots off. Mm -hmm. Like he had just stare at you. 
<laughs> and it is it, it, butter. It was nothing you could do. I feel the same it. way and about it, Joe Johnson. He yes, wasn't fast Joe at all. Johnson. The handle wasn't quick at all, but it's just like he going to get it done. Y'all, know, y'all getting in that bag? I'm, I'm on the same somehow. thing y'all on, man. Relatability. Relatability. Yes. So my favorite is Dwayne Wade. Because, boy, I was just as fast as Wade growing up. <laughs> oh. Jumped just as high as Dwayne Wade. <laughs> that, you know, like he, he was the flash. You know, that was real. That, no, he, he really um, stayed at the basket. Like his prime before yeah. all the knee injuries and stuff. Like almost half of his shots were at the rim for somebody that was a combo guard. It's just unreal. Yeah. And he was one of the most efficient mm-hmm. scorers at that point. I mean, when you lead a team to a championship at his young age of what I think was he twenty four or something like that yeah, he when, was he, young when as they hell. won the championship. Yeah. Um I can't I can't say enough about it. Of course he's Chicago born and raised too, so we got that type of connection, but I love watching the flash, man. That yeah. was actually very they caught me off guard with that. When you said relatable. And you, you, don't, you, don't agree, you, you don't agree that joking. me and the Flash are fast? He was joking. Yeah, yeah, I know. I get oh, okay. It. But yeah, I, I was not expecting like, I didn't know you had a 40-inch vertical <laughs> when you was 11 KB. <laughs> what would you say is your relatable? I don't have one. That's why I can't one? relate. I didn't, I never really had that. I mean. Michael Petrius? Oh. Maybe. <laughs> when I was Ronnie a, Brewer? The reason oh, I attached oh, yeah. myself to Chris Paul is because he was a small guy that controlled the game. I obviously never played like that. But, like, growing up, I saw a small guy that was one of the best, and that's what it was. Speaking of small guys, Nate Robinson. Nate Robinson, one of those microwaves that could just come Speaking in. Speaking of small up, guys. <laughs> light it up immediately. That's real microwaves? No no shot at Nate. Get well, Nate. Monte Ellis. Monte oh, Ellis. Yeah. Monte Ellis I didn't want to get up here and name too many, but Brandon Roy, Monte Ellis, Gilbert Arenas. Y'all name it. Hooper Darren Hoopers. Williams. Yeah. Oh, Darren shit. Williams. Darren. Oh, man. Double Darren. crossover? Oh, time. They did it. Oh. His used to be so just weird because he usually want to get low. He kept it high, yeah, but yeah, it was on yeah. the stream, so it's not like you taking it. Yeah, I don't even understand that double cross. Like, ah. and then just, just having too fast. It, it just so he said, yeah. the first four names y'all named were who? You said who were the two names you started uh, off with? Marcus and Carmelo, and you started off with Brandon Roy, and you gave one more, I think. He after did, Brandon um, Roy. I can't remember. CJ McCullough. Yes. Okay. CJ McCullough. That's the that's the name. CJ is gonna go down as like if not the greatest non All Star, or he might be the second greatest if Jamal Murray Murray. never does. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's pretty high praise. Yeah, it is. I think CJ has always been like one of those really good scorers, especially when you can get it off next to high level players too, and like your game don't really dip. That's that's just shows. Also, what do those four people have in common? Melo, Lamarcus, Blazers, CJ. Oh, all yeah, Blazer man. legends. They are Blazer legends. I remember yeah. you came in with a Carmelo Anthony Blazer hoodie. I do. I he do have had a Carmelo it. Blazer hoodie. <laughs> he had Another it. Another guy I love watching, just from an excitement, because I, I can't. A lot of the shit that he did, I couldn't do. Can y'all guess? Knowing me, Paul George. No, 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 no. that would've been too obvious. <laughs> no. J.R. Smith. Oh, oh yeah. J.R. Smith, man. J.R. Smith when he was crazy. get cooking, that was very. Man, that was must see TV. There was. He, there was, he had that. A little bit of fucking in his system that was just amazing. Yeah, like, a, lot a lot of it. Yeah, 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 maybe a lot, a lot of it. And that's what made he, him elite at what he did. He just would just shoot it. And it seemed like he was more comfortable with contested shots versus open shots. <laughs> like that's that's just how crazy. And he, the athleticism was crazy when he was in his prime. Well, c- contested shots like, just look better. True. He had a hand in his face and he still hit it. Let me wait a second to get the defender. Yeah, Jamal, <laughs> uh, Jamal Crawford was up there too for school. I mean, he mm-hmm. made coming off the bench look cool. Yeah. yeah. You know what really? I'm saying? Like he was an automatic 20 off the bench. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of guys, Lou man. Will. I always think Lou about Will how blessed great, we are yeah. with the talent that we've experienced in our lifetime. We to go from Kobe to Braun to now Steph like Curry. Luca, Steph, oh, Kevin Durant. Steph Curry to we had KD, <laughs> we, we had KD, Luke. Yeah. Like we've experienced like four top ten players of Jokic. all time ish, and now Jokic gonna end up in there. Oh, Giannis, it's a perfect era to be a part of. Wemby, Wemby, yeah, Cooper Flag coming. <laughs> <laughs> We saw so much Kenny Beecham Jr. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like Kenny Beecham really, Jr. Kenny Beecham Jr., baby. And when then he the, old the, heads, the old heads hate our generation of <laughs> no. hoops. He wouldn't be the third? You're not a junior? No, I'm not a junior. My name is Kentrell. <laughs> oh, duh. <laughs> 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 Ken, Kentrell, yeah, I'm sorry. My fault. Tripping. Let us know in the comment section your favorite scores of all time. Give us some low key ones. NBA we know Kobe. Boy. Right. We know right. KD. Tr- Tracy McGrady. I yeah, love we know Tracy. those. Hey, throw out some more evergreen topics for us, too, if y'all want to see us come up here and discuss them. <laughs> he said, do I work no, for us, I'm please? Evergreen topic <laughs> is crazy. Just give us give us some ideas. Maybe they had some ideas. That they feel, like you ain't sitting in a rush. It's, how you, it's funny how you threw it out there. <laughs> give us some evergreen topics. Danny Granger. <laughs> oh, Danny Granger. Yeah. Danny Granger. What college you went to? We done. He ain't going to know. He'll be he went day. to uh, oh. Georgia Tech. No. New Mexico. New Mexico. Mike, Boom. really? 
That's amazing. That is your best pool of yes. all time, I think. That's my his team. best college. I don't know how I know that, but I did. <laughs> my team. I feel like it was one of the teams I looked at. I was like, P going to quiz me on you. <laughs> but but now that had to be a long time ago <laughs> for it to be Danny Granger. He's, he's on the all-time team, though. Yeah. Leave a like, subscribe. We'll be back.